want to thank you for the loyalty you showed, moving that body. It wasn't the most sensible thing, but uh, I appreciate it nonetheless. You're a good man, Sergeant. You got good instincts. And as far as I can tell, you're a decent supervisor. But from where I sit, you ain't shit when it come to policing. <laughs> we don't take it personal. It ain't just you, it's all our young police. Whole generation, y'all. Now you think about it. You've been here over a year now, Carver. You got nobody looking out for you. Nobody willing to talk to you. That about some of them? And that's a problem. And I didn't think there was any way I was ever gonna get my head around it. But then those of me get shot for some bullshit. And that's when I about reached my limit. And that's when the idea of the free zone of, of Amsterdam come to me because this drug thing, this ain't police work. No, it ain't. I mean, I can send any fool with a, a badge and a gun up on them corners and jack a crew and grab vials. But policing? I mean, you call some a war. And pretty soon, everybody gonna be running around acting like warriors. They gonna be running around on a damn crusade, storming corners, slapping on cuffs, racking up body counts. And when you at war, you need a fucking enemy. And pretty soon, Damn near everybody on every corner is your fucking enemy. And soon the neighborhood that you're supposed to be policing, that's just occupied territory. You follow this? I think so. Look here, the point I'm making, Carver, is this. Soldiering and policing, they ain't the same thing. And before we went and took the wrong turn and, and start up with these war games, the cop walked a beat, and he learned that post. And if there were things that happened up on that post, whether they be a rape or robbery or shooting, he had people out there helping him, feeding them information. 